I got into an argument with my boyfriend and I just thought to myself, you know, I'm, I'm sick of this. Like, I'm sick of this. I'm a crappy mom and I'm an addict and my family doesn't care about me and my boyfriend doesn't care about me. Like, what's the point? And so I walked downstairs and didn't say nothing and tied the cord around my neck. And when I was sitting there, I remember just thinking to myself, don't think. That's all I thought to myself is don't think. And I jumped off. And I was hanging from the rafters. Um, I instantly blacked out and uh, went straight to a dream and I was standing in a room and all these people were talking and they all stopped and looked at me and screamed, wake up. And I um, woke up and gasped for air and the cord was around my neck and my hair was tangled in the cord. And um, Josh, my boyfriend at the time, had been holding me by the legs, screaming at me to wake up. And my cousin Raquel had came running downstairs and had cut the cord with a knife. I was really good at talking people into trying it. That was one of my best skills when I was on it was, oh, it's not that bad. Everybody thinks, why not? Why not just try it? And it's like, you don't understand. Like, it grabs you and holds onto you and it won't let you go, no matter how hard you try. Uh, I'm Jasmine Clarkson and I'm 26 years old. Um, I have a five-year-old son and I'm a crystal meth. Jasmine Clarkson has been clean for three months, but the journey to get here almost killed her. Clarkson tried meth for the first time in 2014. She was getting ready to go to a bar with friends when someone offered her a line of what she thought was cocaine. I took the line and it instantly burned my nose like, and like made my eyes water and everything. And I was like, what was that? And my friend was like, oh, it was meth. And I was like, oh, okay. Like it was a big joke or something, but I ended up asking my friend about it like, what the high was like to smoke it and everything like that. And then I ended up trying it. And then from there, it was an everyday thing. It's, it keeps you awake. Like that's the one thing you notice about it is it keeps you awake. You cannot sleep and you cannot eat. But then it's like, as soon as you start coming down off the drug, everything hits you like a ton of bricks. And it's, you can't control your emotions. You're mad at everybody. You're lashing out at people. Her drug use and constant partying eventually led to her mother taking away her son. After getting into an argument with her mother, Clarkson wasn't allowed to see her son. Finally, my mom was just like, you know, it's enough. I'm gonna take him for a while until you figure yourself out. Her downward spiral continued to the point where she tried to end her life. Eventually, Clarkson went to a treatment center on Cote First Nation. She relapsed, but didn't give up on her mission to get clean. She's now in a support group for people with crystal meth addictions called Crystal Clear. Go! Come on, go! Go! No! <laughs> Come on! I was coming off that those drugs and it hit me. And because of the drugs, I couldn't handle it. And I almost took my life for it. <laughs> it helps me realize it's the addiction. Everything I'm going through is because of the addiction. And there's other people going through the exact same things I'm going through, feeling the exact same way I'm feeling, you know? And they won't judge me. It's somebody who won't judge me and who is there. And, you know, with these meetings, I'm hoping more people come and, you know, like stick to it, go every Wednesday type thing, you know? And then it could be like a family. Like if they go every day, it could be a family, a, a family that knows exactly what you're going through and has been there and felt it. Well, I hope to get my son home full time with me and build trust with my family and basically just work on getting a job, getting my life together and living my life for me, not anybody else and not doing what everybody else wants me to do. It's a very lonely drug. You know, you can be in a room full of 
people smoking it with you and you guys are all laughing, but inside you feel completely alone. Mm-hmm.